Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Gold's Gym, Venice, California. The most famous gym in the world. And today, I'm gonna to take you through a chest workout. The focus is really on doing a full chest workout, engaging, recruiting as many muscle fibers as we can. So it's about range of motion, it's about contraction and tension. A lot of this I'm bringing to you from back in the day when I did my personal training certification with the NASM. If you wanna find out more and get certified yourself, check out the link in the text description below. But for now, let's get started on the first warm up and get into our working set. Let's go. hot already here in California. I'm starting to sweat, let's get some more weight on. Let's really warm up that chest, get some blood pumped into the area. You know, with that warm up we'll get kind of two exercises, barbell, some dumbbell flies. Get some stretches in there, some active and static ones. You can see with the, uh, the exercises I'm doing here, the two basic movements of chest, we've got that press and we've got the fly. I'm using 50, 60% of my usual lifting weight. So usually what I do for a chest workout is I warm up a small circuit, five, 10 minutes, a couple of exercises, usually the ones that I'll be doing later on in the workout. And I'm focusing on a couple of areas. One, contracting the muscles. So push up, squeezing, flexing, and holding that contraction. And also the range of motion trying to get that full range of movement, open out the ligaments, tendons, get my joints nicely lubricated. So when I start to add some weight on for that first working set and I can push that threshold, my muscles are warmed up, I'm mentally prepared and I'm good to go. Let's go do those chin-ups, open out the chest even more, get all of those fibers really recruited. It's room two. I took my breath away. So the purpose of doing these uh, the wider grip chin-ups is I'm not counting reps. I'm not looking to reach absolute failure here. I'm looking to go from a heavy compound multi-joint exercise onto you know a plyometric type, lifting my body weight, using my body in a functional way, but really opening out those pectorals, stretching it, and allowing them to lift my weight up instead of pushing a dead weight with that barbell. So a really great mix of weights and body weight and switching how I'm pushing or moving the weight. I'm feeling pumped here. All right, second work set. Let's get some more weight on that bad boy. Start to really hit my threshold. Let's turn the heat up. Yeah, come on. Obviously, by throwing in those uh, supersets, it's draining my energy. Kind of bench incline, 225 pounds. 
I'm not allowing that recovery time to come back fresh, to come back and lift that weight with full force. And I'm okay with that because what I'm doing is I'm adding in those additional work sets, stressing, working, overloading my muscles from a range of different angles, different movements, and the way I'm lifting the weights. And that is what my focus is in terms of developing, structuring, building out my chest. I'm not a bodybuilder, I'm not a powerlifter. My focus is not on overall weight. It's on actually moving and engaging the chest. Let's get back over there. There we go, ah, nice and wide. about that control really is for me at this point switching up changing how I work my chest I'm not limiting myself to one particular movement one way of training mixture a range of free weights body weight stuff feeling good all right we're gonna drop the weight down on that one push up the reps a little bit more and then back on here to an absolute failure that's our first work set done all right, so this is what we're doing for our final drop set. We're gonna replace a 45 pound plate with three plates, but add up to 45. This makes it really easy to do a strip set, reach our maximum failure, might be three or four reps. We can strip off a smaller percentage than just taking off 45. Therefore, we're taking our maximum weight right down to 60% or so. It's too much of a drop. So just like I build it up in increments, I want to try and drop it down in increments too. Essentially, we're going to keep 225 pounds on there, but each time I hit the end of the rep, I can't push anymore. We're going to take off a smaller amount of weight and then keep going. This is a great method you're strapped for time, training on your own, or just want to push yourself without having to go too heavy. This is about intensity, keeping us up at that threshold for longer. Ah, I'm not looking forward to this. Let's try a four or five. Hmm. Fatigue is quick from doing those pull-ups. Let's take off 20 each. So that's 225. We're taking 40 off. It's a good amount. I could get one or two more reps, but without a spotter here, I'm gonna do one more strip set. Okay, we've switched now from overall strength and power to more muscular endurance. So we're hitting that full spectrum of weight training. Just hold it statically here. Well, the heat isn't helping. Let's finish off with those wide grip chin-ups. See, we're switching energy systems. We got our glycotic energy system there, neutralizing sugars in the muscle cell. It's gonna be for all out power, quick. It's like flooring the gas in your car. This is more like when we switch over to 
battery power in a hybrid if you like. I'm hybrid training. This is more muscular endurance. This I should be good for 10 or 12 reps. Should be. Let's see. You see what we're doing here. Splitting our workouts into what most people do in three or six months, putting it into one session. We're training heavy. We're almost pyramiding it in terms of our heavy weight, our lower reps, but then towards the end of that set, we're coming in, stretching out that range, and focusing on endurance and using body weight. This is one of the key foundations that I learned within NASM, the National Academy of Sports Medicine. I got certified, qualified years ago now. But those fundamental um, training regimens, I still incorporate into my routines every day. So it's about learning and guidance, but then applying it to what you're interested in the gym and really what your goal is. So mine's a mixture now. What muscle size, I want that balance, but I also want functionality, I want fit, I want that healthy athletic look. So a bodybuilder mixed with a runner or an athlete. All right, let's move on to the second exercise. All right, so here's what we're doing now. Nicely warmed up, hot actually. My chest is pumped, it's pulled with blood, so I'm ready to, uh, to work in some different angles. And like I showed in that warm up, basically you've got a press type movement, and then we've got a flyer. Those are really the two main movements that the chest allows for. So what I'm gonna do here is superset as well, a series of uh, dumbbell flies, incline, flat, and decline. So I'm stressing that fly type movement from a variety of different angles, not just sticking in a fixed motion. Then I'm gonna superset with the, uh, the reverse of doing push-ups. By that I mean if I'm doing an incline bench, I do a decline push-up. Flat bench, I'll stick with flat push-ups. And then the decline bench behind me, as soon as I've done that, I'm gonna find an incline and do some push-ups. It's a great way to really engage and thoroughly work my chest from a magnitude of different angles and movements. That was it for me on that one. Let's get those push-ups in. Could have got one or two more, but I'm gonna hold a little bit back for those flat dumbbell thighs. Feet up on the bench on this one. Let's keep that lower back firmly into the bench. Oh, different movement there. Ah, feels different. We know we're at the top of that threshold, Gwen. Dropping it down to the floor. Four push-ups. I'm flat out. I'm struggling to catch my breath back. I know I'm right at the peak of my threshold. This is, this is where every rep counts. And I know I say that often, but once you get to this point, your threshold, that extra rep, extra two reps, it's that difference, that little step up, which is gonna have the biggest impact. So when you get to this limit, ask yourself, do you wanna give up and recover and catch your breath? Do you wanna drop it down to the floor? Try and get even four or five more reps out, or one or two more reps out on the, on the working set. That's the difference that is it gonna allow you to step it up month after month, year after year. <sighs> Ah. 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 
You know that feeling when, when you've given it everything you can. It's workouts like these, but it's that step forward in terms of progression. We're gonna go finish off with two more different exercises, different movements, utilizing cable resistance and some more body weight. All right, here we are, exercise superset number three. I talk a lot in these videos about um, stress and how I apply it to the muscle. So, We've got free weights, that dead weight movement. We use a lot of synergistic muscles. We're using core stabilizers to do that. That's really the great to get that power, that weight down early on in the workout. So that's why we had that as the first exercise. Uh, then we move on to more machines. I haven't done a machine in this workout, but I might usually do machine flies or some variant of a chest press, but usually machine, dumbbells as well. Now I'm using cables. Cables have a, a really great place in my workouts at the end because they keep that stress at a constant throughout the entire range of motion. If you imagine doing um, dumbbell flies with dumbbells, you've got this weight at the end. So if I'm laying down, there's not too much stress on my muscle here. It's kind of rested. But as soon as I go out, it's increasing that stress. I've got that like, length of arm increasing the stress on my chest down here. But as I bring it back up, it, takes off some of that tension. I'm basically in a rest position up here. That's great when I want to push that threshold and get the weight up, but with cables, as soon as I step out and I've got tension pulling on the muscle, at every point through that motion, I have that same level of stress. It's about that tension applied to the muscle. I'm getting a crazy pump on that, so let's keep that going with some body weight to dips, leaning forwards, tying more of that chest to the delts. Kind of work more the lower angle of the chest, Although really, it's the same muscle picture all over. We're two sets away from end of the workout. At this point, there's no, there's no reason why we need to recover for two or three minutes just to go back and finish off a last minute of exercises. So, at this point, whatever you've got left, it's time to put it all on the table. I might vomit on camera, I don't know. You can see, the purpose of my chest workout now is not about all my chest bigger. People comment like, you don't look any bigger. I don't want to look any bigger. I'm 178, 180. At my leanest point, 175. That's my happy place. I just want to work on detail, conditioning, muscle maturity, density, and I'm getting there. So, still got to drop my body fat level down a bit, but you can see my style of training. I want to go in, warm up nicely. Once we're fully warmed, then go heavy. Free weights, if you want, get a spotter, have a training partner. Go as heavy as you can, six, seven reps, push your threshold. From there, supersets and body weight exercises in. I was doing those wide grip chin-ups, a great exercise to open out, uh, recruit more of those deeper muscle fibers, type two, the growth fibers. Then, here into room one, dumbbell flies, variety of different angles, incline, flat, decline, supersetting that with the reverse push-ups. And then, finish off in room two, cable flies, high, medium, low, body weight to dips, and a final tricep with push-ups and my recovery is already coming back and catch my breath so on that note listen guys thank you for watching check out more of my facebook you can see videos join me on my live q a 
Live streams every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'll do my best to answer more of your questions. And hit that subscribe button, comment, like on these videos. We're gonna be doing them at least a couple of times a month. Trying to keep them as detailed, uh, as varied as possible. And try and cover something new that I haven't already touched upon in all my other videos on YouTube. So stay tuned, subscribe, like. We'll answer more of your questions. I've got to go eat. Enjoy the week ahead of you. And uh, I'll let you guys know when I've got a new video coming soon. So till then, train hard, eat clean, get motivated. I'll be back soon. Take care.